Okay, so welcome back. Today I'm going to go over Fruity Spectro Man. Now, Spectro Man is like a sort of way of viewing what's coming through each mixer channel. So I've put this on the master, so if you've had more than one instrument going, it would show everything. But I only have one instrument going here. This is the piano sort of thing. So I'll play that through. Nothing interesting whatsoever. But I've brought this Fruity Spectrum Man on the master and what it lets me do, I can widen it up a bit. What it'll let me do is see what frequencies are being played pretty much. So got a couple of settings here, we've got stereo, so that allows a stereo image. So you can see if it's not stereo, it's just got one thing and then it's got two there. Uh, show peaks is, uh, I'll demonstrate that, but it's like, it's those lines there. Windowing just improves the accuracy of the, of the display. And then amp and scale. So you can amplify the image and then scale it around so that the center frequency is wherever you want. I'll demonstrate all of these. But you've also got two modes here. You can change between these two and I'll show both of those. But we'll start off with this one. Now, if I wanted to get rid of stereo, then I'll bring it back. Sort of shows you where left and right uh, volumes are. Then I get rid of show peaks, and you can see that those lines go away. Then windowing. And then I'll change the amp and scale uh, while it's playing. So that's that mode. And then I'll swap over to this one and go through all of these with this mode. A bit harder to tell what's going on in my opinion. I do prefer this mode, but that can be helpful in certain cases, I'm sure. So that's a really quick overview of Fruity Spectrum Man. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.